How do you restart Microsoft Outlook? Have you ever found yourself staring at a frozen Microsoft Outlook screen, wondering what to do next? Restarting Outlook can often resolve many of the minor issues you might encounter. Here's how you can do it. First, let's talk about the normal way to close Outlook. Unlike many other apps, clicking the X in the top right corner of the Outlook window only minimizes it to the system tray. It doesn't actually close the app. To properly close Outlook, you need to go to the top left corner of the app Click on File, and then select Exit from the left sidebar. This will ensure Outlook is fully closed. However, if Outlook is frozen and you can't access these options, you'll need to use the Task Manager. Right-click on your Windows taskbar, select Task Manager, and then go to the Processes tab. Here, find Microsoft Outlook. Right-click on it and choose End Task. This will force Outlook to close. Once you've closed Outlook, you can relaunch it by opening the Start menu, finding Outlook, and clicking on it. Alternatively, you can use the desktop shortcut to launch the app again. If you're dealing with more persistent issues, there's another method you can try. You can reset the navigation pane of Outlook, which can sometimes resolve glitches. To do this, press the Windows key R to open the Run dialog box, type outlook.exe ash reset nav pane and press OK. This command will reset the navigation pane and restart Outlook in the process. So, whether Outlook is just being a bit glitchy or completely frozen, these steps should help you get it up and running smoothly again.